Hello everyone, I'm Philip Zweig, AKA Flipman. So I've been in real estate flipping now 23 years, started my first deal as a flip, and then I progressed into wholesale. Did it a little differently than some of you guys out there, but last year during the COVID, I started Airbnb business, hit 10 Airbnbs, and now we're scaling to 100K a month. And I'm here in front of a luxury Airbnb, which will be our next one. So excited to share the journey with you guys and teach you what I've learned over the past 23 years in flipping and also last 18 months in the Airbnb business. So let's show you guys inside the new luxury one, my first luxury, come on in. All right, Flip Fam, so we're inside the luxury Airbnb. This one happens to be the family home where I raised the kids. Daughter lived here two to 18, and my son was born here. He's a teenager now, so it's just the two of us. So we decided to convert this into a luxury Airbnb. It's worth about 1.4 million with all the renos. So first step, this old ceramic tile here, MJ's in the picture. We're yanking all this out tomorrow. We're matching it with the Italian porcelain or Italian ceramic that I already put in about six months ago. So this is our formal dining room over here. Um, all the, the whole home is going to be painted. We have all new fixtures going in throughout, new furniture coming in. So this is again the formal dining room. This here is a sitting room up front. We're gonna get a baby grand piano. This ping pong table is gonna be going into the back. It's an outdoor table. All these walls are painted. We're gonna have a new light fixture uh, when people walk in. And we're excited because the project is actually starting tomorrow. And the first step, of course, is the demo. This floor plan. It's a two story, but it has a great open floor plan concept. So you have the giant kitchen and then you have the room here. If someone's cooking, they have the TV. We'll have an 85 inch screen TV. That's going to be all whitewashed. We're opening this hole back up to make the accordion style exit out of the backyard into the backyard. All kidding aside, that's going to really make the home the top home in the area as far as opening that up to the giant half acre backyard. We're doing all new countertops throughout. We're keeping the same color cabinets, um, putting in again all new fixtures. We're changing the handles out. We're buying the, you know, giant refrigerator. We're putting the hood range in. So it's gonna really pop. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys the transformation. Um, it's gonna take us, I would say about 45 days on this one because wanna make sure it's done right. And then the furniture, the decor, that comes in after. So we're shooting for 45 for the whole project. Moving on downstairs, it's a five bedroom, four full bath giant pantry in there. One of the, the only downstairs bedroom has a separate entrance with its own bathtub. So we're redoing uh, the paint in here. And then we're also um, gonna put tile in the shower tub there and keep the shower tub. But we're thinking of doing king beds in all of the rooms, all five rooms to, you know, when you go to a hotel, you're always looking, you pay extra for the king bed, so I figure we'll just throw them in all the rooms. You got a uh, two car garage out there, got another car, so it's three car garage. This is uh, a mud room I created because it was a large storage unit, but all this flooring is gonna be coming out and it's gonna tie in to just the um, Italian ceramic is gonna be down here, the long plank. So it's gonna really, really look sharp. You got a little bathroom commode down there. You got a giant laundry room right there that um, all new appliances. That's the downstairs and the shoe closet's monstrous. So eventually we may put a saltwater aquarium in the home, but we're just gonna, you know, launch it first and then add things as we go. Well, it'll be everything, but if we wanna add a saltwater aquarium or a bar top down here, we will. So let's check out the upstairs. 
This whole area was done about six months ago with luxury vinyl, so we're gonna keep this. It's in great condition. This was my office. I loved it because it, um, it's a loft and it overlooks the whole downstairs. So when the kids were getting home from school, you could see the bus. And you know, one of the reasons of being entrepreneurs always got to see, stay here when the kids were getting home from school and hear the bus, it was beautiful. So anyway, new fixtures in here. I paid extra when I bought the place. We have a full deck out there. Paid 10,000 extra, but it, it was well worth the deck out there. So that runs from uh, the loft all the way to the master bedroom that we'll show you. In here, again, we're gonna have big screen TVs uh, in this room and then probably just make it a uh, game room. I think we're gonna get rid of the desk there. And just maybe put a bar in here or something for people that wanna just chill and hang out in this area. Walking down the corridor here. This guy is the giant master room. This was my room. So we're, again, changing all the flooring, all the paint in this one. It's gonna be the luxury vinyl. I'm trying to get away from carpets and all the properties. It has a sliding glass door onto the balcony, which is a half acre in the back. We'll, we'll do all new furniture, king, king beds in here. And then that takes us into the master. This one here is you know, extremely large. I'm moving now, so excuse the mess. Last year, we built out a giant snail shower, so that's gonna stay. They did a great job there. This tile is gonna stay. We're just gonna put the luxury vinyl in the area where the bed is, so we'll get rid of all the carpet and dust and all that. No pets in this one. Change out the knobs, keep the cabinets, keep the granite. We're gonna change out the mirrors, the fixtures. Uh, we got a t TV over there by the tub, which will be super cool. I, I love it. We got a giant closet here. You could put a bed in that closet practically. So this is the master room. Four bedrooms upstairs, one downstairs. This here is a super cute room. This was my daughter's room. Um, and, you know, we had it pink over the years. We had it all different colors, but this was her high school colors that she chose. And uh, so again, we're gonna paint this room, change out the, the fixture, probably add a king bed in here and keep the carpet. There's gonna be, cause it's a nice gray carpet I just put in uh, last year. That's that room. This here is a giant, call it a teen room when we bought it. We're gonna do all sports memorabilia in this room. This here, I don't know, I think it's like a 65 inch TV. We're gonna keep that, but we're also gonna have a consultant help us with surround sound throughout the house, indoor, outdoor. You got a bathroom right there in the hallway. Um, you got a giant bedroom over here. Again, in this one, we'll have new paint, furniture, keep the carpet. All the sports memorabilia is gonna go into the game room here. So that's the third bedroom upstairs. And the fourth bedroom is a boy's room. It's my son's room. He still has his blue carpet. I love the carpet. He did his blue, my daughter did hers pink. This carpet's coming out. We're putting the same vinyl throughout the whole upstairs and just changing out the uh, paint color in here and changing out, we may change out the fixture or his is pretty new and we like that color. So there you go, there's the upstairs. The final piece of this is we'll take the outside to the half acre lot and I'll share some ideas what we're gonna be doing in the backyard. So this here is the backyard. We had plenty of, plenty of parties back here, plenty of fun. Tons of kids grew up here and played. That's the main reason I bought this home even before my son was born. And it's just a giant lot in Chandler, which was very hard to find even back 15, 16 years ago. And as you guys know, the lots now are like on top of each other, but got a lot of vision. The basketball court, we're big Bulls fans, so I've had that since inception. The playhouse has been here for, you know, since we built the home. This here is gonna be in-ground trampoline. We're gonna do the putt-putt. We're gonna have a giant Jenga game. This will be all artificial turf over there. We'll probably do mostly artificial turf in this area. We're doing a lot of giant palm trees, so major renovation in the backyard. Keeping the fire, we got the new jacuzzi back there, and then we're gonna put a little bowling alley on that side where the dog run was. Giant screen TVs will be out here too, so can't wait to share it with you guys and have our launch party, so stay tuned and uh, definitely ch keep checking us out on progress. Mm -hmm.